Hey everybody, so uh, yesterday I bought this um, 2009 uh, Ford Escape. Alright, so uh, right now the only place it blows out is right here. Uh, no matter what button I pushed, um, if I wanted it you know, on my face or if I wanted face and feet or just my feet or if I wanted defrost. Um, it really didn't matter what I chose. It only blows out of here. This is the part you need right here. That's all it is. And <clears throat> it goes in. It's two bolts. One goes right here. And then the other goes right here. Uh, you need a, um, a small little ratchet uh, with an 8 millimeter socket. I went to AutoZone and bought this this um, part. The actual name of the part is a um, uh, uh, a vent actuator. Um, but here's here's the part you need. I got it from AutoZone, and it's a a, a Dorman six oh four two forty one. They sell it at AutoZone. Uh, you can probably get it online for anywhere from 17 to 26 bucks, but um, it's going to rain starting tomorrow for the next three days, and I might need my defrost, so I went ahead and paid a little bit extra for it. But I went to AutoZone, and I told them that uh, that's the part I needed. Uh, it was $36, and I told the uh, person that uh, their auto zone that I found it online for $24, and they price matched it. So I got this part for $24. Bucks. And uh, so I'm going to show you uh, how to fix it. Okay, so if you go in here on the driver's side, uh, I'm going to try to use my, my, my phone for a flashlight. Uh, right here next to the gas pedal uh, look look right up here uh, see if I can see it see that red plug that's where it is alright so that's the part right there and as you can see it's directly above the uh, gas pedal that's the part right there and uh, there's two screws. You, you, uh, you're going to need an 8 millimeter socket. Pull that plug out first. Let it dangle and then take out the parts. Okay, so that was pretty easy. <laughs> the reason why I say that is I'm not a skinny fella. And uh, uh, getting up here with my arms uh, and laying on my back was a little bit awkward, but... Uh, so there is a couple things that I want to make sure that you know on your new part uh, Not this. This is my old part, but on your new part Make sure when you get it. It should be lined up to where this piece right here. That's missing the tooth <clears throat> What they call the key it should be lined up with this arrow that's marked on the on the uh, piece and so what I had to do was see that big white piece right there all right in order for me to put my new part in that's it right there in order for me to find where that that uh, piece is supposed to be I had to put my finger on that and rotate that around all right that's not a big deal it turns very easily but just rotate it around until the new Piece until the splines on there match up and it goes right on and like I said right right here next to the screw there's a little protrusion sticking out that goes in uh, that goes in this space right here next to the screw and then there's a screw here then the only this is not used but there's a screw right there and there's a screw right there okay and again gonna have to use a little socket and it's an eight millimeter 
Okay, time to test it. So I'm gonna turn on my, my fan. All right, so before, no matter what button I pushed, didn't really matter which one I chose, it only blew out of here. All right, so I've got it now on defrost. I'm gonna check. Oh yeah, I have defrost. So we got some rain coming in for the next couple of days and I might, I might need it. And so I'm gonna put it right there on my face. There it is, blowing out of my face. All right, and then uh, this one, I'm gonna put my foot down here. So it's blowing on my feet and my face. And then this one is just blowing on my feet, which is good for the heater. And I should not feel anything right there, which I don't. So that fixed the problem. So all it was was this little tiny piece, anywhere from $25 to $35, or you can probably even get it cheaper on Amazon for, I think I saw them for like $17. But for the, um, I think 2009 through 2012, and probably the earlier ones, for the uh, Ford Escape, the uh, uh, Mercury Mariner, and um, what else? Uh, it, it's probably the same piece that's used in, in, in the Ford Focus and a bunch of others. Anyway, on my 2009 Ford Escape, this is what you need. It's a Dorman 604. 241 and get it at, at AutoZone, O'Reilly, Advance, Napa, anything like that. But this is the AutoZone part number. Okay, well, I hope that helped you out. It sure helped me out. And and again, I've got a couple other projects I'm going to do to this car. And uh, I'm going to do the, the, the uh, motor mounts. Uh, when I got it, it had a really bad tent job on these front windows. And you can see it's got dark tint on there, but the front windows was limo tint. Actually, the other windows are also limo tint. You can't tell, but it was a horrible, horrible uh, tint job. So I'm gonna show you how to easily remove this tint. Um, I got this fixed. Um, um, I'm getting a lot of vibration and I know exactly what that is. It's, it's a couple of motor mounts. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, we're gonna fix the tailgate uh, with the piece that costs about 25 bucks from Amazon. And, and just for that tailgate, he knocked off 500 bucks off the price. He knocked off 200 bucks off of this because, you know, he thought that the whole, whole system was messed up. So anyway, stay tuned, watch for more episodes. Thanks for watching.